Welcome to this presentation on Mahout, machine learning tool for big data. Assignment 4, tools for big data, made by André, Mikkel and Andreas. So what are we going to talk about? We are going to look at what Mahout is and what it's used for. Uh, how to, then we're going to go through how to install Mahout. Uh, then we're going to show a small demo of Mahout, which is an example of Twenty Newspaper Group classification. And we are going to uh, compare these results with uh, a same implementation in Python using a uh, ski learn library. So what is Mahout? Mahout software includes three major uh, features. A sample and extendable programming environment and framework for building scalable algorithms. So this basically means that we can uh, use uh, machine learning tools uh, to implement on uh, larger, bigger uh, data sets and it will run faster. Um, the second uh, thing that Mahout offers is a wide variety of uh, pre-made algorithms for um, scale uh, plus uh, Spark, uh, H2 and Flink. And the last thing Mahout offers is uh, a major Mahout MapReduce algorithms. What is Mahout used for today? It's used for uh, clustering data, labeling unseen data, grouping the data, and in different uh, recommendation systems such as movies, books, and music. So how do you install Mahout? So the first thing you want to do is open this file here, because you need to edit this along the way. So if you go to your folder, and your home folder, you can see it's uh, here, in your home folder, and it's hidden. So you have to show your hidden files. I want you to open this. This will normally be empty, so you will have something like this in the beginning. And then uh, you need to add stuff later on, and I will come to that later. So here, so the first thing you want to do is ensure that you have the newest version of uh, Java installed. You can install it from this uh, website here. So if I go here, you can see that you can download and install Java here. And then I will just recommend that you pick this one. So after your uh, installation, you can check your version by writing Java version. So here it is. So I have the newest one, that's 1 1.8. Yeah. So the next thing you want to do is include this line here. Java Home Tour uh, this bash profile. And by doing so, uh, you will get this line here. So when you have done that, you can uh, reload your uh, bash profile. And then you can write uh, echo. Uh, Java home to see that you actually get the right directory uh, to this Java 1.8. So when that's done, you can move on to install brew. You need to install brew to be able to install uh, some of the other packages. So by running this command, you will install brew. Then you can move on to install Marvin. That's just brew install Marvin. The next thing you need to do is uh, install uh, Hadoop. So here's where it gets a little bit complicated because you first have to brew install Hadoop and then I will recommend you to follow the steps on this website here. So if we just go to the website here, uh, you can also see that they recommend you to install brew and then brew install. And then you need to do these following steps. And you can do them uh, to down here, and then you can stop. So in our first attempt to installing this uh, Mahout, we actually failed to do this correct. We only do this brew uh, install Hadoop. So the next thing you need to do is add these lines here. Uh, to your uh, bash profile. Uh, these will be shown in the comments in this video. And then at last when you have installed all this and uh, added this to your uh, bash profile, you can run this uh, Hadoop version. So if I just do that, Hadoop 
version. You will see what version of Hadoop you have. So now that that's done, you can start installing um, a Mahout. And we found that the easiest way to do this is first um, download Mahout from this GitHub um, repository. So if we just go to that here, you can download it as a zip. Then you unzip it and put it in the folder you want to have it. Then you need to add these following two lines in your bash profile. The first one is the um, Mahout home, uh, which shows the location to your Mahout folder that you just downloaded. So mine is called user visit and then Mahout. And then you need to set the uh, uh, Mahout local to equal to true. So now you need to install it. And what do you basically do is write CD um, and then uh, you change your data directory to this home, um, a hard home, and then you install it with this line. You want to have the dskip test because the test takes a lot of time to run. So, um, so please do that. And also sudo, just to make sure that you have all the administrator rights. So after doing this, you should have a screen that looks like this when this uh, installation is uh, succeeded. Uh, in our first attempt, we got an error here um, that failed. Uh, so I will recommend you to go back and try to install Mahout again and check that your Java installation is correct and set up. Um, and now we will go through the demo. So the first thing you do to run the demo is uh, change directory to your Mahout home. And then you run this example spin classifier 20 newspaper groups example. So if we just go to our browser here, uh, we just change our directory, hard home. Then we uh, run the examples. Bin uh, twenty. Uh, wait a bit. Yeah, classify. Classify twenty. Yes, like this. And it will ask you for um, different options of how to solve this problem. So the first one is uh, complementarity EVE base using MapReduce. And the next one is um, just an EVE base. Uh, you want to use um, complementary when your data sets are in different sizes. But in our example here, um, all the data uh, newspaper groups uh, have the same number of articles. You can do the same thing uh, instead with uh, Spark. Uh, to do this, you need to have it set up. Uh, right now, we only have it set up for MapReduce. So if we take two, you will see that it will uh, start to run. And this will take a little while. So what is this problem is about? Is that uh, you have 20 newspaper groups. And for each of these groups, you have uh, 1,000 articles, around 1,000 articles. And we want to be able to train a model that can classify um, what newspaper groups um, based on the words in the articles. So, uh, for example, a newspaper group can be something about um, re a religious uh, newspaper group. So there will be a lot of religious words that will maybe be used to classify this group. And there's also sports groups and such, so on. So uh, I will just skip this till it's done running. Um, and then I will show you the results. A few moments later. Okay, so here we got the results. And uh, if we just wait a little with this confusion matrix, we start to look at uh, the accuracy, as we see is um, pretty good. And the reliability is also okay. Uh, so I will just show you uh, the results here. So uh, we get these labels um, correct. Um, so let's look at the results. Okay, if we look at this, <coughs> some articles in Atticism here is actually labeled he down here we see, and that is because that some of these talks in religion uh, some use the same words. So the confusion matrix makes sense, and we also see that we get a lot of uh, hits here in the middle. That is correct. So that's how the example is run. So now we want to compare this with uh, a run in Python. So I have made a script 
and you can find the link to this uh, notebook in, um, in the description. So um, here we have uh, using the scientific learn and we are using maybe space uh, multinormal uh, classifier and we first defined the 20 uh, newspaper groups and we see that we had 20 then we load them in and this takes about uh, 100 seconds and we do some filtering for um, words only um, then we uh, see how many unique words we have and we see that this runs actually pretty fast uh, then we divide it into our targets and we make a label for our sparse matrix that we here fill in with the words for each article. So uh, now we divide it into training and test, 20% test and 80% uh, um, training. And we say this takes actually a lot of time also. So here, and this is what we need to uh, compare is this training uh, time and uh, scoring uh, with the one from Mahout. And we see that we get fairly similar results. So looking at the confusion matrix from the results, we see that we have, um, we have some windows that is classified as uh, some IBM. And that also makes sense. And again, here with the uh, religion and artism, it's right here. Yes. Um, so if we look at the results, oh, here. So if we look at the results, we get a time of Mahout from this. This is one of our first runs. So if we look at our results, we got this results from Mahout from one of our first runs and we got this from Python and we see that we get a speed up of about 1.3 but we got to remember that this is a fairly small problem actually so this will scale better with larger problems so this was our introduction to Mahout and we hope that you learned something and uh, can use it for yourself so thank you for listening